Now we've got a Swedish lady about to perform. She's a journalist, she's a model, she's a linguist, she's been a literary agent, she's also an interpreter and a musician. And here she is live in the studio, it's Verna Lindt. write a pop column for a Swedish paper. What's, uh, what was the difference really for, for uh, writing for them and now the journalists you meet on English papers? I think the main difference was that in Sweden it's a very suspicious thing to just accept a free lunch. Mm. Not to mention trips to New York in exchange for front covers. And um, you don't have the whole thing about people or the papers being worried about loss of advertising revenue, etc. Mm. Um, there's a lot less corruption, basically, but at the same time, people are a lot more blue-eyed and naive about what's going on. When I came over, I, you know, I was just in love with music. I didn't know about all the dirty dealings. Really? <laughs> what made you decide you wanted to become a singer, though? Um, I singer. 
voiceover artist, or it, uh, is a better word. Mm. Um, I've basically, got to run I've got to run all right. Down, These professional devils on the tube. Nothing else I wanted to listen to, and um, I had a good title. I knew what I wanted the sleeve to look like, so that was it. Now, you said that if you could find a double, you wouldn't go on stage at all. So I've tried to find a double, actually. <laughs> I've done my best. Um, no, I'm just interested in the total totality of the thing, the whole thing. Um, my voice is more like an instrument part of the production. I'm interested. I'm just as interested in designing the sleeve or um, producing it, you know, getting the sound right. I'm not particularly interested in being the focal point of the whole thing, but uh, unfortunately that's the way it's been so far. But that's why I don't do gigs. I haven't found my double yet. Now, um, you also say that you, you wouldn't have liked to have lived in the 60s, but you're very much associated with it. Do you, do you have any affinity with the 60s? Am I very associated with the 60s? Well, there's been a lot of press saying that you were. The only thing I like about the 60s was the TV programmes. Apart from that, I think it's my most detested decade. <laughs> I think the clothes, if you just look at the architecture, the furniture, most of the books, most of everything which was created during the 60s was very, very um, short-lived and unstylish, totally unstylish. And the only thing I happen to like are the TV shows. Mm. Which ones? Um, oh, all of them, really. Um, mm. <laughs> um, the Power Game, Danger Man, etc. All of them. I just liked all of them. I used to record them on cassettes, you know. What kind of an impression do you think people who watch you tonight, for example, will get, though? I mean, what kind of an image do you think that they'll, they'll get from just watching you for a couple of songs? Oh, I can't think. I mean, they might be puzzled, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> now, finally, we were, we were wondering very much sort of what kind of a perfect world would... What would be a perfect world for Verna Lint? I don't think I can answer that. <laughs> ha! Ha! Another flooring question. We've now got a marvellous clip of film.